Hello my soccer universe. Dublin may host a final between two relatively small teams within their respective leagues. At least by Leverkusen I think has made some noise especially in the late 90s early 2000s. But I think it might be the most interesting European final that we have coming up to really really interesting teams. We have the incredibly flexible Atalanta side, a side that has steamed past Liverpool for instance and a side that really can beat almost anyone on any given day except for potentially Inter, which I don't remember beat them beating them, but a side that has so many options, so much attacking talent that's really really a fun side to watch against probably the one that's even more interesting has more options in Bayer Leverkusen who continue their incredible unbeaten run including European competition Bayer Leverkusen are now unbeaten in 49 games that's the record it was Benfica in the 60s before with only 48 now 49 games unbeaten and they only need four more to stay unbeaten uh, and a unique treble of the Bundesliga, the Euro uh, Europa League and the German Cup and all of them unbeaten. That has never been done in German soccer and I don't think that has ever been done anywhere else. Uh, in the league I still think that the longest win streak is with Milan with over 60 games but Leverkusen is knocking on that door very much as well. What an undeniable force they are. However, it also has, has been credit has to be given to Roma because while I expect it, Atalanta and Marseille to be the more interesting game because it was a draw, it was very, really tight and Atalanta were hanging on in, in the end. That one was a wash because Atalanta were so much better than OM. However, Roma made the game in Leverkusen and the streak was really, really on the line there. So quite some interesting stuff. I would say let's recap the games very briefly. Uh, we'll start in Bergamo uh, where Atalanta just overwhelmed OM. OM never really stood a chance in, in that one. Early on, the Catalare hit the post. I think uh, Lukman also uh, hit the woodwork. Uh, it was really one-way traffic. Yes, there was the occasional chance where Obama Young came on, but Obama Young got frustrated. And, you know, the more the game went on, the less he was actually uh, effective in that match. And yeah, if the Catalare would be a little bit less selfish and see a different man, actually, I think this game could, could have been done much sooner. But in the end, it's Lukman again, the Catalare assist in the 30th minute, makes it 1 0. And everyone had kind of think, yeah, this is only going one way now. Uh, Though in the second half, yes, Ruggieri very early on, it was a brilliant move. I mean, he takes the ball, plays Lukman, Lukman sends him, and he takes a great shot, make, 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 makes it 2 0 in the 52nd. But um, at least very two hits the upside of the crossbar with a weird free kick uh, himself. But that was basically all that there was. Atalanta were really celebrating with fireworks uh, in the second half. In the end, Toure with another undeniable run makes it 3 0. This Atalanta side has only beaten, been beaten once this season in the Europa League, and that was when they already had a 3 0 lead against Liverpool. So have that in mind. This is a really strong Atalanta side, one that is currently in Serie A ranked. I think it was before uh, this match, still in third, but I think they would now be ranked second strongest team in Italy. A real good force and they also can now finally add titles to their collection. Yes, they will be outsiders in both finals. They have to beat Juventus in the Italian Cup final coming next week. And then they will have to beat Leverkusen. And they also can confirm championship by beating Roma on the weekend. So looking forward to that for OM. It was a very credible run for them. And they defeated some teams in there that you would not expect. For instance, Villarreal, who were flying high at that moment, and Benfica. So a uh, huge credit uh, to OM uh, to making another deep run, lifting also the French co coefficient by the end. Atalanta were too good. So that was the easy game to recap in a way, because it was only one way. It was all on, only one way, it was not expected. The other one that you thought it will be one way actually got quite interesting. I mean, early on, Lukaku had already a good chance for uh, to put Roma in the lead. Roma 2 0 down from the front of the first leg, and that Tammy Abraham miss late on that might come back to haunt them. Uh, one could already think very early on. Um, 
But it was Leverkusen, it was Sevilla that kept Roma in the game. I mean, the, it was almost like an ice hockey power play for a while, especially in the middle of the first half. There was also quite some needle between the two teams. I think there was one where Spinazzola is lying down because he is in, in, injured. Uh, and Frimpong, who has just so much speed, if he would have a finish uh, on him as, as well, I think he might be, as, as well be the next level um, Dutch player. He keeps running and stays in the scene, which Roma didn't, didn't like. There was a big bust up, up, up there and you could see. I mean, I think that between De Rossi and Xabi Alonso, there's a whole lot of respect between those two. I mean, they recognize each other as, as two uh, great midfielders. I would say that Xabi Alonso probably uh, was the uh, slightly bad, bad, better player, but just the Grinta that De Rossi brought uh, put him also on a different level. Um, and I always had the feeling that the Rossi actually wants to keep a good face. We are not the Mourinho team anymore. But there was so much pent up frustration between those two teams coming from the last season when, when the Roma frustrated the heck out of, out of Leverkusen and also from the first leg where there was also quite some needle in, 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 in there. Both coaches trying to calm it down, but it was really, really hard to keep everything on the, on, on the ribs. And then Ta, a little hold. And it's a penalty for Roma that Paredes very routinely converts. Also, as we said, that Leverkusen played kind of a second string lineup with, you know, Logic up front, uh, not a um, different goalie and, and, and so on. Having Florian Wirtz on, they really want to go unbeaten in the Bundesliga as well. And they thought they maybe can see seed it out. But Roma gave them a real uh, test. And second half, more of, of the same. And again, it's a uh, penalty, a hands penalty, this time by Logic. The Paredes converts and makes it 2-0 for Roma. And that seemingly, at first, it seemed like it read Leverkusen. Yes, they tried and they bring on Schick, they bring on Wirt, so the cavalry come, comes on. It's very much Leverkusen. To, while being rattled, you compose yourself, but you never go in panic mode. However, it also has, as I said, um, the way that the goal then came for Lever Leverkusen that actually got them back on top was very, very like It was a Grimaldo corner where, yes, um, Zwiller comes out, doesn't get, 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 get to the ball. It's a little bit of a melee in the middle. There was no foul, honestly. I would have loved to see a foul. There was no foul. And the ball hits uh, Mancini on the head and goes in, 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 into his own net. Didn't look good. And it's even more because he just had gotten the captain's armband. A minute earlier from Pellegrini. I did not like that he took Pellegrini off, but I guess he was not quite fit. Um, De Rossi actually, I think, made some ni ni nice changes. But then the problem is, was now Lev Levin were still losing. The streak was still in danger, but they were actually moving on to the final. So that's the big, bigger goal. And so it was actually Roma that were a little bit now nervous trying to get a chance off, never really got it. I mean, there was maybe a semi-chance and then laid on Stanic is sent by Shaka. And yeah, almost calmly runs into to the box, takes another touch, puts it in, it's 2-2 and Leverkusen again, 97th minute. Again, deep, deep, deep into stoppage time, salvage the unbeaten streak. It's unbelievable stuff. It is unbelievable stuff that's have, have, have been there. This is a team for, 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 for 20 ages. Uh, you may have some thoughts on how this whole Leverkusen thing is coming about, because not your typically German team. It's of course funded by the Bayer Com 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 company and gets a lot of uh, funds from there, although this has been uh, since the beginning. So it's not the classic 50 plus one. Actually, Leverkusen is exempt from that. Uh, you may also think that, you know, in Germany they are often thought of as a plastic crowd. Um, but what you cannot say negative about it, this is a team for the ages. They are about to become one of the best German sides of all time. With a manager who is just performing miracles. Absolute miracles and will be the next hot manager. Of it. He's already the next hot manager out, out there. That he's staying at Leverkusen and his team will probably stay together speaks volumes. I think Bayern will have to work really, really hard and get their act together to actually uh, dethrone Le Leverkusen the way it looks at the moment. Yes, there's a lot of momentum going, but I really like what I'm seeing here. So, the Dublin final is not the one that we all, that UEFA were fearing. I think the worst case scenario for them would have been Liverpool against Rangers. Uh, it's not happening. 
uh, Rangers were asked it's early and Liverpool were asked about Atalanta. We get relatively two small teams, as I said in the beginning, so it will not be the onslaught to Dublin. I actually think the one in Athens is way more uh, hot than this one. But what we also will get is probably two of the most exciting teams currently in Europe. Atalanta are hitting red hot form at this moment, and let's see if they can uh, can con conserve it. If I think a lot will hinge on the Italian Cup final next week there. And Leverkusen is just Leverkusen. Will Xabi Alonso complete the treble there? This will be interesting. I, I, I think this is a much more interesting final than the Champions League final. I'm serious about that. Any case, let me know what your thoughts are on this final. Give me a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!